what looks like an alien spaceship is actually a tiny object made up of an air pocket surrounding a metal ball, plunging through liquid. The air pocket creates a nearly frictionless surface and is falling at a constant velocity. Normally, a solid moving in liquid is slowed down by friction and drag. So how did researchers reduce drag to nearly zero? By creating a non-wetting surface using one of two approaches. Heating up a metal ball so hot that what's called a Leidenfrost effect occurs, where a vapor layer forms between the ball and the liquid, like water beating on a hot stove. Or coating the metal ball with a hydrophobic, or a super water repellent substance. The balls are then placed at specific heights above a deep tank. Here, a 20 millimeter steel ball preheated to 400 degrees Celsius is dropped at a height of 55 centimeters into 95 degree water. At impact, an air pocket forms. It stabilizes into a streamlined shape by shedding small air bubbles at the tail until it achieves a constant velocity. The dropped hydrophobic ball also forms an air pocket and at similar velocities, without the need of preheating the ball or fluid. Previous drag reduction schemes have also used air pockets, but a very thin layer around the object, so they basically retained their original shape. In contrast, the present methods rely on creating a very large, tear-shaped air pocket, from 5 to 15 times the volume of the balls themselves, changing the solid sphere into a giant air torpedo. To determine if drag has been reduced, Researchers then race the air pocket balls against plastic projectiles with matching weights and shapes. Analyzing the high-speed footage, they found drag was reduced by 90% compared to the plastic dummies. Predicting the movement of bodies and fluids is usually difficult because of resisting forces. But since these new methods virtually eliminate friction and turbulence, velocities can be accurately calculated based on the density of the ball and the volume of the air pocket. Next, researchers want to nail down exactly how the shapes of the air pockets are determined. Since these objects require so little energy to travel through water, perhaps these methods could be applied to energy-efficient, high-speed transportation in the future. Engineers are already releasing bubbles under ships to reduce fuel costs. Maybe shaping those bubbles or using them with hydrophobic coating could speed things along. 